Uh, we don't quite know exactly what sent this Ford Explorer uh, over onto the shoulder, rear ending this trooper, but we do know that this was quite a serious crash. When you see that footage from Sky Fox, it looks so bad. And we know that, unfortunately, the driver of that white vehicle did die on scene. Now, the trooper was taken here to Detroit receiving, where they are surrounded by family, friends, and they are recovering. It was one big boom and then total silence after that. An early morning fatal crash. The driver of this white SUV dead after slamming into the back of this motor carrier officer with the state police who had pulled over a semi on I-75 just south of Dix Highway in Lincoln Park. Based on the damage from the vehicle, uh, he had to be extricated. He was pinned inside the car. That state police MCO taken to Detroit receiving, where he is recovering and coherent. Colonel James Grady II says family, friends, and other troopers supporting him. This officer is out there doing everything that he can to keep Michigan safe, and that's why he was working today. Um, again, you know, this can be very dangerous out on these freeways and roadways. It is a very dangerous job, especially in this stretch of the freeway because they fly down the road so fast. Which is why Michigan's move over law is vital. The investigation is underway, so it's unknown how the driver of the white Explorer crossed onto the shoulder. Colonel Grady's message to drivers. Please pull over and get over a lane when you see uh, and a law enforcement or first responder, a tow truck driver, anybody after our, our construction workers, get over a lane, slow down. Now, it is looking like that motor carrier officer will recover. We've heard from the colonel that he is coherent. He is talking and understands what's going on. So we're hoping for recovery there. Unfortunately, this is just a painful reminder about Michigan's move over law. It is a law you can get in big trouble and you can see just how things can go wrong. You got to get over if you see them over on that shoulder. Anybody, it doesn't matter if it's a police officer, construction worker, just somebody who's got a disabled vehicle for now. We're Reporting live in Detroit, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News. Taryn, well, back to you. It was a pretty big hit, powerful hit, though. Uh, is there a chance that he, this driver may have been distracted as well? Yeah, you know, they're, they've got their investigators out here with uh, their accident reconstruction team, right? And these guys are professionals. They're going to figure out exactly what happened because it could have been a distracted driver. But then again, we've also seen it where it could have been a medical emergency, right? If mm -hmm. somebody had some kind of medical issue behind the wheel, they might veer off and crash that way. But, you know, it's just one of those things where it's a really sad thing to see. Thankfully, that... Uh, police yeah, officer sir. did survive this because when you see that footage, it's unbelievable. Yeah, really unbelievable. Uh, look at that vehicle and the crash. Thank you so much, though, Scott, for the update.